Hey everyone, um, before we get started with the workout for today, I just want to apologize for the um, time it's taken to get to these videos. It's been a crazy week, but I hope you're sticking with the workout and, and uh, have caught up. So I'll be doing the next two to finish out this week today. Uh, so today, or before we get into today as well, prior to the last workout, the cardio core workout, I did it myself. It was very tough for people. Um, even for myself. So one thing I wanted to reiterate is if you have any trouble with these workouts, um, especially for beginners that, it, you know, this, sometimes when I'm making the workout, it, it's a little bit easier in my mind than it ends up being. So if you have any trouble, uh, decrease the reps, decrease the sets, focus on your form, and then when we do these again in the future, they will get easier. So adjust to what you, you have. My standards are just, or what I put is just what I expect, but you can always work from there. Focus on your form. Today, lower body day, um, warm up cardio stretching main, and then the cool down, we'll just start with the warm up. Um, a couple sets, two or three sets, jump rope, I'm not gonna demonstrate that, 50 singles, or if you can do double jump ropes, um, that's fine as well. High jumper and single leg deadlift, we haven't done yet, so I'll show you those. Following the warm up, you're gonna do a car cardio, half mile to a mile run, whatever you, uh, kind of your ability group, you can go farther than that if you want. Um, or a two mile bike ride or something else like that. So starting with the high jumper and the single leg deadlift though. So the high jumper, I do these in a two count, or you can do them in a four, but the two count gets them done a little bit faster. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna jump forward, jump backward, and when you land backwards, you're gonna jump up in the air, okay? So jump forward, jump backward, up, okay? Jump backward and up, okay? So a little bit faster. So. Forward, backward, up, backward, up, backward. So you're kind of moving backward the whole time, but when you take your jump, you can move yourself back forward. Um, just do five to 10 of those. This is just to get your legs loosened up. Single leg deadlift, you can do them with dumbbells if you want, but this is just the warm up. So you're balancing on one leg, slight flexion or straight if you can. Bending down, the opposite leg is coming backwards, keeping your chest and head tight. You're up and your core tight, coming down, so leaning down, trying to get towards the ground. And then you can alternate legs if you want. Okay. Or you can do all of them on one leg and then switch. It's more of a stretch for the warm up. Um, you're not really trying to kill yourself with weight. Straight down. You'll feel more in your hamstrings than anything with a single leg deadlift. If your balance isn't super great, just keep working on keeping your core tight. My left leg is a little bit weaker. So. But all right, that's it for the warm up. Then you'll get in your cardio. Stretching is simple: single, double leg sitting, just sitting on your butt, one leg at a time, both at a time. Um, everyone knows how to do that. Single cross body. So what you do with this? I said resistance band. If you have one, I'll show you how to do it. So laying on your back, leg comes across your body. Grabbing up, you know, around your knee, calf area, pulling it across, and just holding that. Torso stays flat on the ground. You can pull it higher if you want. You'll feel it right in your hamstring, glute area. And if you do have a resistance band, you can wrap it around your foot, like so, pulling it tight, and then pulling that out to the side. And that allows you to get a little bit deeper of a stretch. You can pull it with your arm. Okay? Do that for 15 to 20 seconds per side and then switch. And then um, standing single leg, uh, single quadricep. So you can go against the wall if you want. Just, we've done this before. Pulling your leg back, keeping your knee. You're not bending, you're not going like this. Keeping your leg in line. And just pulling that back, working that quadricep. You can use the resistance band for this as well if you want. I like to put it around, and then you just pull it above and pulling your leg back that way. So that's another thing. Resistance bands are good for stretching. Standing front leg up and lateral swing, so just simply kicking your leg forward and backwards. Okay. Trying to get a little bit higher each time. All right. Your lateral, just in and out. Working yourself, your abductors, your adductors, your groin, just like that. Good. Do that both sides. 
All right, so for the sets today, three sets, three to four minute rest. You don't have to do them all at one time. You can kind of take uh, breaks in between. We're not trying to keep, um, this isn't our cardio day or anything like that. So you can take a little bit longer to do these. Goblet squats, I think we've done before. Ladder hop, burpee, broad jump, thrusters, bench, uh, step ups, and then side lunges. All right, so goblet squats. We've done these before. Dumbbell, uh, whatever you have that has some weight, you just have a dumbbell, keeping it close to your core, here to your chest, dropping straight down. Make sure you have a weight though. If not, you're just doing an air squat. Coming down, back up. All right. Um, lateral hop, just to still kind of loosen you up a little bit. So just jumping side to side. Okay, do a few more of those, 15 to 20. Not very hard. You can get a little bit deeper if you want. Okay. Uh, burpee broad jumps, this is the hardest probably thing of the day. So you're doing a burpee, and when you're on your way up, you're jumping as far as you can, okay? So five or ten of these. So you're doing a burpee, and then as you come up, just take a jump. Okay? All in one motion. Down, straight across, alright? Into thrusters. So a thruster is a shoulder exercise and a squat in one, all right? So dumbbell, you don't need to use it, but you should have something. As you're coming down, I'll do a, you can do a squat. As you're coming down, you're bringing the dumbbells into your, into your shoulders. As you're coming up, you're lifting them up in the air, okay? And then let them relax before the next set, okay? So it look like this. So as you're trying to do it slow, for coming down, and then up using your momentum, okay? Relaxing. Come from the side. Perfect. Don't need to go super heavy, they're pretty hard actually. You've never done them before, so get a weight that you can tolerate. If your shoulders are weak, just focus on your form with those. Um, Box step ups, bench step ups, chair step ups, whatever you have, stable platform to jump up, step up on one leg at a time, jumping or stepping up, pulling your opposite leg up to your chest. You do all the more from one side, or you can switch sides, but come off the bench in between each step. Okay? And then side lunges, Sim similar to every other lunge. Keeping your toes forward, you're just reaching out to the side, getting a nice uh, squat, back up. Now don't, don't turn your legs out though. Straight up to the side, facing forward, dipping into the leg, keeping your knee above the midfoot, ankle, back up. You're going to feel it in the opposite uh, groin. It's a good stretch. You can hold it for a second if it feels a little easy, and then come back. All right. Three sets of those, we'll go into that, and then the cool down, uh, squat forward X rotation, and squat down, putting the opposite, well, one hand near your foot, twisting to the opposite way, okay? Opening up that chest, stretching the hamstrings, opening the core up, switching sides, squat, opening it up to the other direction. Hold that 15, 20 seconds. Um, toe hold squat, same position. Squatting down, grabbing your toes, your midfoot, and as you're coming up, you're holding on to your toes, and getting as high as you can. It's gonna get a little bit easier every time. And you're lifting your butt up, keep facing forward. This is focusing on the hamstrings, and getting as high as you can. If you can only get to a bar right here, that's fine. As you get more flexible, you'll be able to extend your legs a little bit more, but keeping your hands tight, when you start to feel that stretch, just hold it. Even if it's right here, just hold it and then go back down. All right. Final one, the clamp show. Working your uh, groin, your abductors a little bit. Similar to a plank, side plank, I mean. You're just going to simply opening up, um, abducting that leg. Okay. If you want to make it a little bit more difficult, you can do a side plank at the same time, holding yourself up working on that clamshell. And then make sure you're doing the opposite side as well. And that's
that's it for the day. And 